issues, you know, go on. To mitigate the effect of flood in some parts of Ikiti State in 2022, the National Emergency Management Agency, in collaboration with Ikiti State Government, have distributed relief materials to hundreds of disaster victims in the state. Correspondent Ayomide Ajegbi tells us more. These people have seen their means of livelihood or place of abode either erased or affected by flood in the later part of 2022. They are here to receive direct distribution of federal government relief items, which was handed to them by the Deputy Governor of the State, as she states that none of the disaster victims will be abandoned. Today, we are distributing the relief materials, both food and non-food items, donated by National Emergency Management Agency and Presidential Committee on Food, relief and rehabilitation to the affected areas. These materials will cushion the effect of disaster on victims who have lost their homes and belongings. Representatives of the agency, both at the federal and state level, says all materials released by the federal government will reach all victims and urge citizens to take necessary precautions to avert disaster in the future. Let me remind us that the recent unpredictable weather condition associated with climate change in the country and indeed throughout the world, have caused adverse weather, adverse ecological dislocation across the nation. These emergency challenges and calls for concern of concerted effort to desire risk reduction and enhance collaboration between emergency responder at community level, local, state, and federal level towards efficient and effective disaster preparedness, prevention, mitigation and response. As we continue with the distribution of relief materials, I urge everyone to remain vigilant and take all necessary precautions to prevent the occurrence of disasters. Let us work together to prevent future occurrences of this nation. This is the second phase of the distribution to Ikita State in the last one year. Our state government is ready to partner with federal agencies to help in times of emergency. Ayomide Ajoigbe, TVC News, Adoekiti. History was made in Ogun State with the official landing of maiden test flights on its soil at the Gateway International Agro Cargo Airport, Ikberi Lishon Road, Ikene local government area. The airport has four kilometer length runway, the longest in the country. TVC News, Kazim Olowe reports. It was a moment of joy for the people of Ogun State as they witnessed the landing of maiden test flights at the Gateway International Agokago Airport, Iperu Elation Road, Kenya local government. The Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika, and other notable Nigerians, including the former governors and former speaker of the country, were in attendance to witness the event. I feel quite excited and happy that. All this is happening in our lifetime. This uh, location was identified. And then we did what we had to do. It's always a great joy and happiness. So I thank God that I'm alive to see greater things coming into my state. Officials of the Nigeria Airspace Management Agency and the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority and other relevant agencies were also in attendance to assess the state of readiness of the airport for full operation. And after the third flight lands successfully, the captain of the CRJ-900, which belongs to Velujet, the first commercial flight that lands on the soil of Ogun State, commend the government for the project. And I'm really, really pleasantly surprised at the runway, because uh, I've been all over the world and I can tell you this runway is world class. Not only the standards, but they're done according to the books. So this is an airport that everything of it from start to finish has conformed with our standards. The governor says the airport sits on a 5,000 hectares of land and was built in line with world class standard features. No doubt this airport will become the alternative airport to the Muritala Mohammed International Airport and is already being considered as the export terminal for non-oil in Nigeria. It promises to offer at least 
25,000 job opportunities. It is not just the best in Nigeria. It is a world-class airport that we are here to see. With what we all see here this afternoon, Ogun State is definitely taking a huge step in fulfilling the dreams of our forebears. It's with special operation, special agro-processing soon, passenger and international testing center, Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Ilishon Remo. Well, that is a wrap.